Hi, it's Nikki from Y Rocket, and today I'm doing the 50 things about me tag. And so um, I've watched some other people do this tag, and I think it's super fun. So I just wanted to um, make my own 50 things about me tag because I thought it'd be a great way for um, you guys to get to know me. So the first thing is I don't like banana candy. So if I get a package of sprees, I pick out all the yellow ones. Um, I don't know if they're banana. I assume they're banana, so I'm just not eating them. I'll save them for somebody else in the family. The second thing is I graduated college in three years with a degree in finance. The third thing is my favorite color kind of changes. It's blue greenish kind of color, not really turquoise, a little darker than turquoise, but <laughs> that's the best answer I have. Number four, this is the longest my hair has ever been. Number five is that when I was a senior, my little sister was a freshman, and during homecoming week, they had a battle. The seniors versus the freshmen, whoever raised the most money, got to slime the other one. And so my sister got to slime me a homecoming week of my senior year. Six, I guess soon I'm gonna have to quit using my hands for this. The sixth thing about me is that um, if the dishwasher's not loaded right, I will for sure go in and reorganize things in the dishwasher. It's crazy. And I blame it all on my dad because he would reload things and teach us how to fold things the right way. And so it's completely his fault. Seven is like that the way I eat my Kit Kat is kind of funny. So I break all four pieces apart and then I eat the chocolate from all four sides. Then I take it and I spread the piece, the like crispy pieces apart and eat each crispy piece separately. Usually I eat the middle crispy pieces and save the outside chocolate crispy pieces for last. Number eight is that I got married at the ballpark in Arlington where the Texas Rangers play. And I guess you would have, of course, assumed then that we are Rangers fans. So this one's another great one. I like, I think after this, I may realize I kind of eat kind of weird. I like to take my mashed potatoes, then put green beans on top of the mashed potatoes, kind of push them in a little bit, and then put the gravy on top. And then I kind of mix it so I get a bite of all three every time. So yeah, I'm thinking with these, I eat my food a little strange. Number 10, before there was the Food Network, I watch cooking shows on Channel 13, PBS, and um, I always wanted to be the Frugal Gourmet. Um, this cookbook was so printed, let's see. This is copyright of 1992, and it's a first edition. So um, I've had this cookbook a couple days, so that tells you how long I've loved cooking, but um, isn't it too funny that I wanted to be the guy with the striped apron and gray hair? Hmm. Oh, look what I just noticed. Look at his beard. He had the Duck Dynasty beard before Duck Dynasty was cool. <laughs> 11, I can change my own tire and battery for that part. Well, maybe not in my car, but I can change the battery in a car. The older the car is, the easier it is to change the battery. Uh, when I was little, my mom couldn't put barrettes in my hair or any like hair tie or anything because I would just rip it all out. She says that like she would be walking around the house and she would just find the barrette with hair attached. So she had to quit putting them in because pretty soon I would have been bald if she kept doing it for too long. Number four, 14 is that I hate confrontation. I would just, if I feel like you've done something or I've done something or if I think there's gonna be words of any type, I just uh, don't talk to you. Not a good character trait, but it's the truth. <laughs> this one's funny. In my closet, this kind of is like the dishwasher thing now that I think about it. In my closet, the clothes have to be hung by type and then by color, so like, all of the short sleeve shirts are hung together. Um, all of the shirts are hung together. And um, then they're done by color. And then in the color, they're done by um, short sleeve, long sleeve, you know, tank top, short sleeve, long sleeve. So, and then my t shirts are done the same way. My jeans, my dresses, everything is done by type and then by color. Kind of cuckoo. 
I was allergic to beef, chicken, trees, and grass. Old enough that I can still remember not eating hamburgers. So what is that, six, seven, eight, I don't know. But anyway, I couldn't eat beef at all and I could only eat chicken every other day. And um, of course, like if I went outside to play, you know, I was always on medicine. I think I started going to the allergist at like 18 months old. That's um, this one's kind of embarrassing, but while I'm at work, I sit, you know, with my elbow on my desk, you know, while I'm using the other hand for the mouse, and I'll mess with my hair back here so much like this that my elbow will hurt. Yeah, that's right. I said it. My elbow will ache, and I'll be like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with my elbow? It took me a while to realize why my elbow was hurting so bad, but yeah, I play with my hair so much at work that my elbow will hurt, and it's only the left side. Um... That's why I wore my hair short for so long was because when it's short, it wasn't long enough to just grab and mess with like that. I love chocolate cake, whipped cream, and coffee. Not separately. Well, I mean, I like them separately. Don't get me wrong. But I love them together. Like, uh, makes me think of like after Christmas when we all, all family meals, you know, mom will make coffee, we'll have cake, dessert. Oh, but chocolate cake, whipped cream on top, and then coffee. Mmm. Oh, I wish I could have some now. I daily, daily dream about living at the beach. But the interesting fact is that I'm scared of the ocean. <laughs> so pretty much I dream of living at the beach, looking at the water, the hot sunshine, sun, you know, hitting my face. And then um, I'll get to, up to my shins in the water. But then I'm afraid that, you know, a shark might attack me or a jellyfish might sting me or even a little fish might bump into my leg. It's quite embarrassing actually, but um, the same thing is, goes for the lake. If you ever want me to ski in the lake, you have to like, I have to get on the boat. It takes a lot to ski because I have a great fear to overcome because you never know what could be under the water that I can't see. But anyway, I'll get on the boat at the dock and then um, you can take me all the way out to the, I will never, never ski from the dock. Um, you have to take me out to the middle of the lake, then I'll get in the water, and then I'll go. But really, I prefer, for a long time, I would just tube, because I could just jump off the boat, straight into the tube, never had to touch the water. And then I would get really mad at my dad if he would tell me, because then I would be stuck out in the water, you know. And I'm terrified. It's gotten better. The older I get, it's a little better. So, in elementary school because I think it's been that long since the, the original one was on. Um, but I still have a Jason Priestley 9010, 90210 oops, pajama shirt that I still wear sometimes. Don't be jealous. When I grow up, I want to be a Blue Angel pilot. Yeah. I might, be, I might have waited a little too long for that, but still a goal. Or I do have another option, um, and that'd be to work at NCIS with Gibbs. My husband and I traveled to Montreal one time, and we love it. We tell all our friends how great it was, and we would just love to explore more of Canada. I drive a Mini Cooper. Dun, dun, dun. But I am totally crushing on the Fiat 500L. It's not actually out, and I don't know if it counts as a crush if you can't actually test drive it. So I don't know if I really like it, but I have a crush on it right now. I have been reading Nicholas Sparks since high school. Um, I can still remember when my friend let me borrow the notebook, and because um, she'd already read it, and so we all ended up reading the notebook in high school. Uh, my husband says I sleep like a tornado. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm asleep. I think that Sweet Home Alabama with Reese Witherspoon is more than just a love story. There's a life lesson there. In high school, my friend and I were the statisticians. It's a great word. Um, for our freshman baseball team. My favorite pen is a Pilot G2, but the 10. So it writes super fat, and that's all I can write with. I mean, that's not all I can write with, but I have a really fat tongue. In my house, there are five beings, not beings, five people, and I'm the only girl. 
I love Dr. Pepper. This one's kind of funny because I'm on here and I talk about makeup, but when I was leaving for college, my mom said, you know, Nikki, I think it's really time that you start wearing more than just mascara. My senior year of college, I worked for Clinique and still have this little bracelet that we got. I slept with my baby blankets till I was 22 and I still have them. If I were a Star Wars character, I would be Padme. To be honest, I know more about Star Wars than I do The Bachelor. And I even have my Star Wars shirt on today in honor of that. I can still do our high school um, cheerleading dance that we did when the band was playing to Louie Louie. Sometimes I use hairspray on a little spoolie to keep my eyebrows in place. And that is totally thanks to my mom. This one's another about my mom. So. My freshman year of college, I was away in my dorm, and of course you know how you talk to your mom, so I'm talking to my mom, and I'm like, yeah mom, I was all the way in BFE. Uh, hello. I didn't know what BFE stood for, I just thought it meant like really, really far away, but um, no. It really stands for something. Let's just be honest to say that she wasn't thrilled to hearing, hear me say that, and I didn't understand why until she said, probably you need to figure out what you just said. I love big sunglasses. I feel like little ones look dumb on me. I love them big. The bigger, the better. And to be honest, um, I've bought this same style of sunglass from t sunglasses from Target like five times because I would sit at my desk. I've stopped doing this, but I would sit after I came into the office and just twirl my sunglasses, which means, I mean, they're from Target. Let's be honest. They're not like super duper strong, and so I would break them. My favorite wine is Moscato. I just recently went somewhere and had some naked grape Moscato and uh, loved it. Couldn't find it at my HEB. They said it was there, but I'm going to have to look at Target. Uh, every year, I get a pair of shoes from my mom for my birthday. And this is the pair. Oh, nasty. This is the pair I got last year. I used to pretend like, I guess I can take my glasses off now. I used to pretend that my Barbies were different characters from Charles in Charge because I totally love that show. And um, so my characters would be the different girlfriends that um, Charles had or whatever. But yeah, my Barbies were definitely characters from Charles in Charge. I'm an insurance agent by day. We have two dogs, both male, to go along with the other four boys in my house. Um, but both of our dogs are boxers. My favorite baseball player of all time is Rusty Greer. Forever, and by ever, I mean still, I wanted my wedding dress to be the dress that Audrey Hepburn wears in My Fair Lady to the Ball. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, maybe I'll uh, attach a picture of that here and also um, a picture of my wedding dress. Polka dots are totally my thing. I think that if it were socially acceptable, I could wear different polka dots all the time and cover my house in polka dots. I just don't think that my husband would be too excited about it. And last but not least, I think we're to 50 now. Um, I got married when I was 21 and a half. Thanks for watching my 50 things about me.